Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to tell you about my LC Smith 16 gauge field grade shotgun. First we're going to go over a little bit of the history of the gun and then a little later we're going to shoot it. So let's start with the history. In 1877, a company named W.H. Baker Co. was in business manufacturing drillings, which were a double barrel shotgun with a third barrel underneath chambered in 4440 Winchester. In 1879, Baker partnered with two brothers named Lyman Cornelius Smith and Leroy Smith. The three men were in business together manufacturing drillings for a few years before Leroy and Baker left the company in the hands of Lyman or L.C. Smith. L.C. Smith had an employee named Alexander Brown and Brown designed in-house an exposed hammer side lock double gun with a double cross lock rotary bolt which was named the L.C. Smith hammer gun. Up to this point in time and ever since the side lock gun was the domain of high-end British companies like Holland and Holland and the British press at the time even wrote that it was only a matter of time before somebody got their face blown off by this backwater American sidelock. Was there no end to this conspiracy of irrational prejudice? Nonetheless, the L.C. Smith hammer gun was an instant success. They were sold at for $55 for the low-end gun, all the way up to $450 for the high-end which adjusted for inflation is about 1690 on the low end, all the way up to $13,800 for their highest end model. Then in 1888, Smith sold the company to a railroad mogul named John Hunter Sr., who was looking for a company to invest in where him and his sons could go into the manufacturing business together. And L.C. Smith went on to work on a newfangled thing called the typewriter, and he later went on to develop the Smith Corona typewriter, which is widely regarded as the best typewriter in the world at the time. In 1891, Hunter Arms Company, as it was now known, introduced the 16-gauge and then a few years later a short-lived 8-gauge shotgun. Then in 1892, L.C. Smith became the first American shotgun to feature automatic ejectors, and then in 1904, they came out with the first single-trigger double-barrel shotgun. Then in 1908, they introduced a 20 gauge shotgun and a single 28 gauge. In 1913, they changed their grading system from the earlier 2 through 7 grading system to now names like Field and Trap, and Premier and Deluxe, and this particular shotgun is a field grade. In 1917, the company filed for bankruptcy, but the businessmen in Fulton, New York, where the company was based, came together and bailed them out because Hunter Arms Company was a huge part of the local economy. In 1920, the company sold to the Simmons family out of Massachusetts, and then in 1939, they filed for bankruptcy eventually, and their assets were purchased from, by Marlin Firearms Company. Marlin reopened the factory as the L.C. Smith Gun Company, which interestingly was the first time L.C. Smith's name was included in the, gun, the company name. And then later in 1950, a roof collapse at the factory closed it for good. In the late 1960s, Marlin attempted to reintroduce the brand, but the American side lock with the polished internals proved too expensive to manufacture, and it was ultimately short-lived. Then in 2005, Marlin again attempted to reintroduce the brand, but this time they were slapping the L.C. Smith name on an Italian-made box lock with fake side plates. This lasted from 2005 to 2009 when it eventually failed. This gun in particular was manufactured in 1923, as I already said, so it's exactly 100 years old. It is a 16-gauge field grade, and it was given to me by my dad, who bought it from my great-uncle, who was a paratrooper in World War II. And now I'll show you how it works. This particular shotgun, being a field grade, the barrel came in armor steel, in workhorse blue as they called it, and the barrels were braced together rather than soldered. 
and the receiver came color case hardened. It featured a three position safety switch with an automatic safety as well as a decocker. This is a double trigger model and these guns, the field grades, were primarily for hunters, people who didn't care a lot about engraving but needed a gun that was going to last forever and that's exactly what this is. At 100 years old, this is still one of the finest side lock guns in the world. Every piece in this gun was mirror polished before assembly. The walnut stock was coated with various coats of linseed oil depending on which grade you purchase. Then it was taken out and test fired and patterned before leaving the factory. It's hard to see because this gun is old and worn but right here on the barrel, it says Hunter Arms Company Incorporated Manufacturers, Fulton, New York, USA. And then right up here, it says LC Smith Field Grade. Over here on the side lock, it again says LC Smith. And on the other side. And in order to take the barrel off, grab right here on the forend and pry that off. When we open the gun, the barrel comes off, exposing the serial number, the serial number on the, and the forend on this particular gun, as well as the barrel, have matching numbers. The barrel is stamped here, the action is stamped here, and the forend is stamped on the bottom. You can barely see in here, but the cross bolt goes across this opening here and engages with that hole and that tab on the barrel. In order to put this back together, we do that in reverse. And to put the forehand back on, turn this upside down and give it a shake and that arm falls out. And then you line this Then you line this lever here up with the button here, get all that lined up. You place this arm in a little groove here. Once everything is lined up perfectly, just give it a shove. And now the gun is back together and ready to fire. Because we've had this gun opened, it is now cocked. This gun features a three position safety switch. When it is in the center position, it is on safe, can't pull the trigger. But if you were to put it in the furthest back position, that is a decocker. In that position, we can open the gun, and with the gun open, we apply pressure to both triggers, and it lets the spring tension off, and now the gun is no longer cocked. Then there's a third position, which is an automatic safety, so say you're in the field, you've got this cocked, you've got it loaded, and the lock gets bumped and opened. There it's open, the gun is cocked. We put this safety switch in the middle position, and then as soon as the lever is pushed and the lock is no longer safe, that safety switch automatically dropped into the middle position. So now the gun is on safe and the triggers will not fire. So if it's half open, which would be unsafe if it went off, the triggers would not then fire. Then when it closed, it's still in safe, and you'd have to take it off of safe to fire, or back in the decocking position to fire it, or the forward automatic safety position would fire as well. So we're gonna decock the gun, and now this gun is fully decocked, safe, and ready to use. And this gun's seen some wear. It's got a broken button here. The butt plate is cracked on the edges. This has been used for a hundred years. And it still functions. And we're going to shoot it here in a minute. It's got a single bead on the front. And I'm not sure about the factory choke. But it does not have removable chokes, whatever it came with from the factory. 
if you wanted to get a look at the internals, you would remove the screws on the side plates, and then you would use one of the screws, I believe it was this one, you would take that screw out, and then take one of these screws out, and you would thread the screw in and use that to pull the side plate off, and then you would be able to see the internals. So here in a second, we're going to set up some targets and shoot it, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that, and I'll be right back. Alright, we've got a couple water balloons set over there, and we're going to shoot this thing. Well, that was the 100-year-old L.C. Smith shotgun. And here in a second, I'm going to shoot this revolver since I'm out here. But I'm going to go set up a target for that. Be right back. You guys may recognize this gun from a previous video I did. This is my Yama Comanche 3, 357. And uh, I've only got three rounds of the cheap stuff. So let's uh, see if I can hit this. watching and if you like this video like and subscribe go look at some of my other videos and thanks for coming out